By the way, tomorrow I'll be putting out another video from my guitar band live concert. The first one is up here. It's called Unlucky. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. You guys helped me pick which one, which song to release first. So tomorrow will be the one that got the second number of votes for which one I should put out. I don't want to give it away, but just watch the channel. It's coming out tomorrow. I get a lot of emails with questions that sound something like this. Hi, Bob. I have great musical ideas in my head, but I can't play them on the saxophone. I can sing ideas, but I just can't play them fast enough. Fast changes are hard. Things like this over and over and over with multiple variations. Look, here's something that you might, maybe you do this and maybe you don't, but I'm just sharing this to let you know. I practice really slow because fast things are hard. How do you learn how to do anything well if you're trying to rush to do it? In my experience, the things that make anything easier are repetition and consistency. If you remove either one of those, it doesn't really work. Like you just don't, you can't become fluid or fluent in anything if you're rushing through it and you're having to use a ton of cognitive brain load to think about what it is you're doing. The only way you can do things effortless, effortlessly or semi-effortlessly is when you are not thinking about what you're doing. And as far as having ideas and translating them, two things that I do a lot of are transcribing and practicing very slow. Let me just give you an example. For days now, I've been checking out this uh, Clifford Brown, revisiting this this Clifford Brown's Finest Hour. Just this great set of music. And uh, one thing that caught my ear was this, I mean, there's so many things. This little nugget from the song Jordu, right here. Amazing. The time, the language, everything that's going on there. My radar goes up and goes, what is that? I gotta get that. And of course it's about so much more than the notes. It's not just the notes. And the minute I start trying to dissect it, I realize so many things where I'm, I'm deficient. Inefficiencies in my playing, weaknesses in my hearing, you know, just tons of things. Uh, I can't really sing it, articulate it that fast, but I'm getting it in my head the more I do this. Now here comes the second very important part. I've just got so much damn work to do on that now, on that one little nugget from that one little song, that one little solo from that one record. Me, the music that I need to learn, my metronome, and repetition and consistency. Doing things slow and repeating them allows them to go from up here to in here to in here to here. I can store them in my memory bank if I'm if I slow things down enough to where I can reduce the cognitive load so I'm not, I don't have to think about it so much. Think about it like a compost heap, you know, like if you throw garbage and, you know, like um, 
biodegradable garbage in a compost pound heap, you'll start with a bunch of garbage and debris and over time it will settle and it will turn into dirt. The, a bizarre analogy perhaps, but the point being that the more that I do this, the more that I repeat it, the more I hear it and play it and like focus on one thing and let it sink in, the less I have to think about it mentally. And it's not about, this is another question I get, it's like, well, how do I get what I transcribed to show up in my playing? I don't care. I don't really care about that showing up in my playing. I care about me doing the work. That's the only thing I can control. I don't want that lick to show up in my playing. I want what I learn from, from uh, dissecting that lick to show up in my playing. What it causes me to have to deal with and focus on in my playing, I want that. I don't want the specific entity, you know? But I will learn so much, that can teach me so much if I'm open to it, if I'm self-aware enough, and if I'm you know, disciplined enough to just stay with it and focus on it and really take ownership of one small thing. You know, and that's it, that's, my, that's gonna be my practicing today. It's currently 1.10 in the morning right now. It's 1.10 a.m. I don't know, if, can you see this? I could either not play or take out the saxophone and just ramble around and play a bunch of bullshit, or I could do something productive for 15 minutes, it's better than the alternative, and it works. Uh.